I live actually, I'm a speaker before Victoria. I live in Warren Village, which is the single parents housing program, and that's at 30% AMI. And um, I can't even really afford to save up for myself going to school full time. I suppose that I could stop going out to eat sometimes, buying house plants, and maybe some self care items. But for example, if somebody like Ian Frash, I couldn't, you know, just have that kind of lifestyle of self-care like he probably does. In that sense that developers will develop, because that's their goal, to make money, to develop spaces and gentrify. And so just because there's affordable housing asks doesn't mean they're not going to develop. Perhaps the greedy ones won't develop as much, but there will definitely be developers regardless. And the fact that it's 50 to 60% AMI, seriously? I'm at 30% AMI as a full-time student at Metro. I got my AA of communication with honors last two semesters ago, and now I'm working on my BA and my own business as well. And I'm supporting this little person and trying to get a car. And it's really difficult. I could ask Ian to try and switch lives with me to maybe just see what it's like if he's even still there. But all of those developers, I know we live in a plutocracy, and I would like to perhaps even have conversations between the poor and them and see what comes of that. But the thing is, the plutocracy has the privilege to say no and to not talk to us and to stick their noses up at us and to all of you guys, and the, unless they want to pay you so they can um, get their way. But not all of you guys are sold out, thankfully, but there's a lot of politicians and police officers who are, sadly, because this is a plutocracy but I really would appreciate it if there would be 30 to 40% AMI, not just 50 to 60. Because like that one guy said, um, who said he helped develop this plan, he said it encompasses from homelessness all the way to home buyers. No, it doesn't. Homelessness is 30 to 40% AMI. He lied to us. He's, he's trying to truly develop that. That was like a whole PR scheme or marketing scheme to cover up the truth. And that's just sad. But Many of these people are just used to covering up the truth because they're getting paid, and that's the truth. Thank you. Our next speaker, uh, we're going to ask Mary. Um, we're going to um, try to have a speaker go before you. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, Mr. Gary Jackson. Um, Mary Connington, who will be here 